Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again. The next part of Let's Play the Spirit Engine. And apparently Ellsford Els disappeared. Says, good lord, she has vanished completely. You, you all saw that. How fascinating. She didn't take any of those books with her, did she? Yeah, so... She disappeared, just like everyone else. In the sheltered glade. And what do you think is going to happen here? Yep, all three of them. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Where am I? And who the hell are you? What have you done with... Uh, what have you done to me? I demand that you return me immediately. Wait, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. I've done... I've not done anything. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, I promise. I was sitting under my tree one moment, and the next I found myself here. Then this is your doing! I'm not impressed by this sort of trickery. I've seen the like of it before. I don't know what you want with us, but I'm quite prepared to defend myself. Both of you should calm down. I am as confused as the two of you, but shouting is not going to help us establish what has happened here. I take it both of you arrived in the same manner, a flash of light and then this instant relocation? Look over there! What is that odd creature? It seems to be watching us. Well, I'll be. I've read about such magical sprites before, but never encountered one. This is fascinating. It seems quite passive. I suspect that its intentions must be non-hostile. And why has it kidnapped us? We have nothing in common, and I have never met it or either of you before. This makes no sense. Give us give us an answer, you fat little fairy, or I'll force one out of you. Hello, little creature. Can you speak? We need to know why you brought us all here. This is a little confusing for us. Perhaps it is unable to speak tongue, but it appears possesses some measure of intelligence. A most interesting phenomena. If only I had a pen and pad to, with which to record this better. Erg. Wait, I think I know this place. Giant's Cradle. This is a small island off the western coast of Pennsylvania. The local flora are quite distinctive, but they look parched and unhealthy at this time of year. Something is quite is not quite right. Look, the furry's moving! Perhaps we should follow it? Wait, we don't even know each other's names yet. I'm Zephyr. Pleased to meet both of you. My name is Alice Ford. I hold a librarian's position in the Arcane Library in the Mystic Dunes. My job is usually quite routine, but this is turning out to be a most eventful day. Most eventful indeed. Peter, I can't believe I'm stuck here with the two of you. I should be getting back home before my father starts sending out search parties. Now move, we don't have all day. Sweet. Our trio sets off through the shady groves in search of civilization. Their current situation remains a mystery to them. Should they set off in search of answers, or hope that nothing more comes of it and, and attempt to find their way home? Either way, despite their differences, they are better off sticking together for the moment. The autumn sun beats down heavily on the plains as it reaches its zenith and butterflies dance on the cool breeze. But the air is quiet and dry, and there is a sense that not all is right on the prairie. So something seems amiss. This trail appears to be well beaten. If we follow it for long enough, we should be able to find town and ask for directions. Pah, who left you in charge? If we're going to be stuck together for a while, let's get a few things straightly. First, I don't take orders from anyone, including you. Calm down, please. There's no need to argue. Let's look on the bright side. It's a beautiful day for a walk in the country. The sun is shining, the butterflies are in flight. Let's not spoil it with angry words. Damn straight, Zephyr. So, we're hopefully going to see some action in this part. Homestead Village. Damn it. Old Wendell. Eh, who's down there? Damn it, you fools, get away from my tree. Shoo. Hello up there. We're terribly sorry to disturb you, but what exactly are you doing up in that tree? Do you need any help getting down? What does it look like I'm doing? Hiding, dang, damn it. Someone's got all the local creatures all riled up. I came out to check my crop and a pack of bloodthirsty beasts he set upon me. They made off with my backpack and one of my shoes before I managed to scramble up this tree. Now shoo, get away from here before you bring them sniffing them back. We are headed towards town. If you're in need of protection, you're uh, you're welcome to accompany us. Oh, oh, sure of ourselves, aren't we? Just follow the trail down the valley and you'll see what I mean. Hey, I ain't budging from here until nightfall. You stupid stubborn old man, we are quite capable of taking care of ourselves. Now get down to that tree or we'll shake you out. Eek, thieves, vagabonds, there's only room for one up here. Go find your own tree. Get away from me. Quite a pointless conversation, need I say. 
Well, it lets you know that there's creatures going wild and shit. Yep, so I'm just gonna quickly briefly explain this. You don't really need to do anything, you just exchange. Oh, these things talk. So yeah, you just keep exchanging blows, I'll explain shit. I don't even need to do anything as I say. So here's your health right here. So obviously when you, the damage you take pops up there. You can scroll over enemies to look at their health. Um, this is your mana. So every time you use a move, it, um, it uses up one mana. So you have to wait until your mana is, um, once your mana gets empty, then you have to wait to, to recharge. So you can recharge, you can choose between your starter defense moves or your starter attack moves, depending on what you want. And this can just rotate the characters to switch them out from the game. Now we have a skill point to use. I'm just gonna quickly switch this to all speed fire. Speed fire! This all chain magic. And rifle, rifle, rifle. Yeah, a rifle. Ah. Uh, uh, it's a repeater, I guess. Rifle. Zephyr. Rifle. See, you'll get new abilities later on. And as for chain magic, chain magic is going to be very useful. And see, we also have an inventory. So we have four credits, as they say. And there's our quest. So it's fairly simple to find. Um, let's fight some more enemies. I, I don't know, I like pushing on those. So now we'll do more damage. Oh, we took them out in one go. That's crazy. We leveled up again. So see, this game, once you get into it, it doesn't take that long to master. Okay, so let's get our health up. I like getting health up a lot, it, it really helps. <laughs> that was weird. Um, okay, so we got a few more enemies to fight before we get into town. Just listen to this gorgeous music. Oh, yeah, right. So this is basically the game. Walk through a horde of enemies, kill them, continue on. And here's the map of Giant's Cradle. So let's go on to the tiny village of Homestead. There's no more need to cower in your homes, my good people. The legendary Rick Brutal has arrived in town to protect you from the evil Grundle Crunk. The great slayer of the crystal lizard, hunter of the fearsome black lion, and hero of the four continents will track down this foul beast. See justice done and add another trophy to his wall. Mark my words. Hmm. Well, we either have t there's either two things that are going to happen. Either Rick Brutal is going to be a extremely good hero, or it's going to be an insufferable pussy. One of the two. Howdy there. I say your folks are lucky to get a lot into town alive. Welcome to Homestead. I'm afraid you caught us at a bad time. What's going on, Sheriff? Why are there animals attacking people? They don't look like they should be very aggressive, but they attacked us on sight. Damned if I know. Seems this place is cursed recently. First the mine closed, then after that terrible accident, now this. The animals we, we can hold back, but there's nothing we can do to stop the Grundle Crunk. The Grundle Crunk was an old wives' tale that farmers used to blame for missing cattle, but the past few nights something has been coming in from the plains and taking people. Deputy Stokes has been, has been here, has been, has seen the beast. Tall as a house, arms like tree trunks, and shape that flows like a midnight shadow. If Stokes had seen it, then it is real, and the town's folk terrified. We would like to stay and help, Sheriff, but we are in urgent, unexpected business, and we need to find a way up the island. Can you help us? Believe me, if we, we could, ugh, we would. If we could leave too, we would. The only way off the island is the aerodrome on top of Giant Mountain. You need to book passage from the town of Giant's Toe down to the valley, but they're spooked by the Grendel Crunk too. Legend says it's a form shifter, and they're letting no one past the town walls until it's safe to. So if we want to get off this miserable little island, we have to find this nasty creature and put a bullet through its brain? Sounds pretty dangerous. You're welcome to stay here if you want, but if you're heading out on some fool quest, best see Elaine Thomas and the village supplies to get tooled up first, and be sure to save your progress at the town statue. Good day to you. And with that, that ends this part of Let's Play the Spirit Engine. So on the next part, we will continue on.
Um, this is Mr. Floorman signing off. Bye.